I think it's going to be a fun whip, man. He fires right up. Everything's cool. And I like the, the start from the radio. Um, yeah, I just fired this up in my house. And my girlfriend or wife probably won't get mad because I don't have one. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. I love the man cave. These are awesome little engines. Um, I highly recommend them if you're going to go with a nitro style engine. Um, they don't have a lot of RPM. They have a lot of torque. Um, and they're so reliable. It's just amazing um, how they have refined these from the little um, FS100 single cylinder um, to what they have now. It's just it's just mind-blowing. And uh, so, like I say, I highly recommend them. You can get yours at Sterling Kit or you can get it at Engine DIY. So... Like I say, I, got a, I bought the four-cylinder, too. That'll be coming. I'll do a video on that, and it, that's a pre-order. So, these here are something I wanted to show you guys um, with, um, oh, what do you want to call it? This is your stepper for your glow plugs. Okay, now I bought this one. show it to you here these are these are like 25 bucks 30 bucks for these things okay um now these are pretty cool you know they get this your little ground and you hook it right up to your receiver and it brings you know 1.5 volts and it has like a little beeper on here i don't know if that's for a uh, low battery i don't know i because there's really no instructions with these when you get them so they're expensive you can buy the one for um, you know, the, the kit, when you buy it from, you know, Engine DIY or Sterling Kit, those are about $15 to run the glow plugs, and you need one for each one, and some say, oh yeah, you can just tap off a, you know, tap off a, another plug, um, you know, and run two. Um, I've tried that, but for some reason, those, uh, they do, you can run two off one, um, but they, they get hot, man, especially if you're running longer leads. So I found these online, and I will, um, these are tiny. Okay, this is a voltage reducer. Um, I think it's 12 volts in, and you can turn it down to one and a half volts, okay? There's a tiny little adjustment screw right here. And if you can solder, you can you can hook these up. Now, I have two of these in that right there. So they're really compact. They're really small. And I just basically soldered because um, they show a in and an out. Okay, this is the outside, positive and negative. And this is the inside, positive and negative. And um, so you hook your positive, negative from your battery on this side. And this side here is your positive. So you put your little... Um, little cord on there. If you if you don't have one of these things, you can get um, oh a wiring crimp and a piece of wire, and just stick them in. You know, on the it'll just cut the edge of the uh, ex oh the plastic uh, shrink wrap on the the wire terminal, and they'll snap right in there. And this side here, you just run a ground, solder a little ground on there. So they're already pre pre-soldered so you just if you can solder you just some get some electrical solder touch them on there just get them hot then i ran a 12 volt battery in this side and out this side i ran a voltmeter okay and then you dial this thing you turn it back um to lower the uh, voltage on it you turn it in to raise the voltage so i think it said about five volts or something when they come you know six volts somewhere around there so i backed it out to one 0.5 volts and so and these are really like a dollar dollar fifty i've seen them as cheap as 50 cents and i buy them like five at a time online because they do burn out over time but uh and you could put them anywhere you want you can make them serviceable you you know as long as uh you know you could actually put you know a couple of wire connectors on each one on each side of this and plug in your stuff 
a quick change thing if they if they blow out. Um, so far, I've had a lot of good luck with them, and I've ordered some other things that um, one was one of these with two on it, and this one here I don't know. I don't see anywhere on here where you can actually turn the voltage up. This is supposed to, it's like a little computer chip. It's supposed to maintain uh, one and a half volts at start. And then once it senses the, the resistance from the glow plug, when it's running, it cuts it down and keeps it at a low. Um, this is basically for an airplane, helicopter, something you want in the air that's going to keep, um, you know, juice to your glow plug. So it doesn't stall on you in midair. So, but like I say, I hope you like the sound of it. Um, like, share, subscribe if you want. I'll be back with some more updates. And you guys have a safe and great Thanksgiving season. I'll probably be uploading a couple of more videos before then. Um, but I'll catch you later, man. Adios.